Hey class, we've completed, you've completed reading and doing your research on Shutter Speed in Module 5. In Module 5, we did an overview, which included how to create motion blur, how to freeze motion, and how to pan. That's what you learned in um, Module 5. So to demonstrate that learning, you did some reading, you viewed all module material, and you did research about a portrait photographer. Now we have our A05 shutter speed, and we're gonna be going over that and what we need to do for that assignment. But before we do that, we have to know how the shutter works, which is 5.1. We have to know the shutter speed. So here's an article, I believe, or is it a video? Oh, this is my most favorite chart to use all the time. Pay particular attention to the middle part, which re reflects shutter speed. We start off at one over a thousand. The figure is pretty sharp. Compare that to half of a second, or yeah, half a second, how blurry that is. And all the components that make a correctly exposed image. Please review camera basics, the shutter speed, if you did not as well. It's going to be very important that you understand the shutter. Also, we have learning how to use a shutter and how slow shutter motion, see slow shutters in motion. I'm not going to review that. You can review these pages. If I did, unfortunately, we'd get a strike on our YouTube page because it would be copyright infringement. So let's continue on. We introduced the shutter speed in photography, and here's another article, and you just click on the link, and it'll take you right there. Then we have this video, which is very important because you have to be able to understand how to create slow shutter speed to have a sharp object and a blurry background, a blurry background and a sharp object and anything in between. Then we have to know how to capture motion and how movement works. So you can see here, just from the screenshot or the page for the YouTube video, we know this is panning. How do I know it's panning? Because it creates these horizontal lines when you're panning. Remember to pan from left to right or from right to left. We don't pan up and down unless the subject is going up and down. And it's going to be kind of hard to pan up and down or down and up, but it can't, you could do it. But remember, panning from left to right following the subject. And here's one technique, which is just about panning. A very valuable video because in our assignment coming up, you have to know how to pan. And a lot of students get a little confused on that aspect. And then we have our lecture from the book. Um, read this if you want to take great photos on exposure. Followed by our discussions. So I'm going to end the video here. That's a recap of what we did in Module 5.